There we go. We're on, baby. There we go. That's a, that's a nice red. What is up guys, JT Resident Dog Fishing back with you again on a beautiful morning Pine Island Sound. Fishing a whole new area again today. That's all I'm doing is just going spot to spot, seeing what I can get, checking out this area I've never fished before. So see what's out here this morning. It's flat, calm, a lot of fish moving. Hopefully we have some good luck. Let's go. Mr. Taxman. That's a decent sized little bull. Four or five footer. There we go, we're on, baby. There we go. That's a, that's a nice red. There we go. We're on. Yes, sir. That's a nice red. Nice red first thing in the morning. Yep, 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 yep. Where you going, bro? Oh yeah, stud red. Oh, he inhaled that top water. Holy crap, that's a beast. That's a beast. <laughs> Good morning. Come here, baby. Beautiful red in the morning. Whew, two spotter.
go. Fish on. What we got here? That little snooky. Come here, little dude. <laughs> little snooky, little snooky. Hey, get out of here. I was going to measure you for CCA, but you didn't want to stay in play. There's the slam. It's a little trout. See you, dude. <laughs> he hit it right at the boat. <laughs> I twitched that sucker one time and he slammed it. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I twitched it one time and he went glook. Oh, that's a red. Yep, 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 yep. Big red. Big red. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was sketchy as fudge. Oh, it's a nice red.
I got this dolphin stalking me. Come on, baby. Oh my God, that's a hoss. Oh, that is a, I think that's one of the biggest reds I've ever got. Look at the size of that son of a gun. I don't want Flipper getting him. Lunch, man. <laughs> Throw him up in the mangrove as far as you can. Yeah, I'm getting back up in there. <laughs> Damn dolphin. There we go.
And I saw another little red. Everything's cleaned up and put away. Wanted to go over what I was using, kind of area I was fishing, and get on my soapbox for just a minute about dolphins. But for starters, I started out first thing in the morning throwing top water. And what I was throwing was Salt Strong's version of the Hidden Super Spook Junior. It's called their Moonwalker. I mean, I'll be damned if you can tell me the difference between these two other than the color. Both same shape. Same rattle. The Hidden Super Spook comes with trebles. You gotta swap out for the single inlines. Whereas this one comes with the inlines already ready to rock and roll out of the box. They both work great. I've caught big reds on both of them. But a big red first thing in the morning is a Moonwalker. Also got me a snook on him. So early in the morning, the sun's coming up. Top water's the way to go. And I started pushing out a little bit farther out. That flat I was on went all, almost all the way out to the channel. And it was a little bit deeper water, so I grabbed an 8 ounce jig head on a paddle tail, got that little bitty trout. And it pretty much flattened out there, so I had to run to my second spot. And it's a spot I fished quite a bit. And there, got that monster red. That thing was 31 inches and he was fat. He ended up picking up. This is... Salt Strong's Power Prawn USA Junior on that little three aught weighted hook. And I just flipped it towards the mangroves and it was just bouncing along the bottom coming out and he crushed it. And then later on I was throwing my old standby quarter ounce Johnson Gold Spoon picked up that second redfish. As far as the area I was fishing, it's not so much the spot. Fish have tails, they move. What I'm looking for is the right conditions. This was clear water. The water was moving across the flat. I could see the grass blades were bent over. So I had good water movement and structure. There was a deep channel behind me. There was a deep channel also off to my left. So it was kind of an L-shaped channel. And then the mangrove island was off to one side and the flat ran all the way up. And the flat was probably, I don't know, 100 yards 100 yards wide from the mangrove to the channel and from the other mangrove or from the other channel all the way along the mangroves probably went for a good three four hundred yards something like that but it was deep water mangroves water moving there's also an oyster bar down at the end so obviously the more structure you get the better your chances are going to be to success but back to that big red that i was getting stalked by the dolphin on it was obvious that he'd been conditioned that when fishermen catch fish in boats, they're gonna throw them back because he was hanging around and hanging around. I've never seen, I've seen dolphin do it in the past on occasion. Normally they just stay away, but he came right up, actually had the redfish in the water and was getting ready to film the release on him and he surfaced three to four feet away. I thought he was gonna take the thing out of my hand. So I wanted to give that redfish a good chance at survival and not getting eaten by him. So I went all the way up as close as I could to the mangroves, found a knockdown stump that I knew he could get in behind and relax and chill out and catch his breath. So that's what I did. I got all the way up there and he swam up behind there in between that stump and the, and the mangroves in about a foot of water. And he just hung out there waiting for that dolphin to go away and for him to catch his breath. But a soapbox is, if you're out fishing and you see dolphins, please don't feed them. It makes it miserable for everybody else out there. They get accustomed to it, they expect it, don't. If you're gonna release fish and there's a dolphin around, try and get away from that dolphin to release them. One, it's gonna sustain the population so you can catch on a later date, and two, it's not gonna condition them to count on us for food. That being said, smash that like and subscribe button so you don't miss more on the water footage by all means, if you see me out there, Mike Inu, holler at me. I will see you on the water.